What happens if you put Pop Rocks in a toaster? Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Morning. In previous episodes, we've made amazing discoveries by putting weird things through a water filter. Glug, 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 glug. But it took the green out. Yeah, it's clear. And a coffee maker. Basically making coffee with hot sauce. Basically. There's a coffee. Aftertaste. Aftertaste, yeah, yeah. yes. It's like, I thought I was eating hot sauce. It must have been coffee. And today, Toasters. Yes. Uh, now, The Brave Little Toaster is an inspiring film where a young appliance and all his appliance buddies nearly die trying to reunite with their former owner. I have not seen it, but the IMDb synopsis is absolutely riveting. Oh, I'm gonna uh, read that. We've got a bunch of Brave Little Toasters with us today, but mm -hmm. unlike in the movie, they're probably not going to make it. It's time for Putting Things in Things, Toaster Edition. First up, Play-Doh. Now kids are giving Play-Doh to be creative, but at the end of the day, their creations become gross little balls mushed back into their cages. We say, no more! Perhaps using a toaster as a kiln, we can turn temporary Play-Doh art into permanent artistic statements. Yes, it's a kiln for, for kid pottery. Yes. There you go. Oh. Okay. All right, so uh, you can make anything that we can hope to keep for posterity. Now, I'm going simple because I don't want to confuse the toaster, I'm making a piece of bread. Okay. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a smiley face with a, I don't know, with a, with a purple snake smile. Oh, you got that. It kind of looks more like a butterfly. Yeah, it's pretty bread-like. That's kind of bready. It's bready. That's as bready as Play-Doh can get. Oh, that's nice. How's that? I think that's adequate. That's pretty good, huh? I, I want to keep this forever, Rat. Well, the thing is, is that yours is going to show us what kind of integrity this thing has when it gets hot, because if your face stays together, then this could be a new thing for the kids. All right, I'm gonna put mine on this side okay. because yours is more interesting. Yeah, we'll put so. mine right there, and then shove her down, and let it Just toast. wait. <laughs> this is the fun part. Woo! You got gloves right there if you wanna. I got gloves right here as well. Okay, this is, this is a great idea. All right, so we got some, uh, we got some, <laughs> some smoking action. If you put, if you push that up, see if I, yep. Oh, it went in there. <laughs> back in there. Okay. Okay, there's Link's face. That's not bad, I mean. This is not gonna be permanent. If though. your kid can do something like this, you should be proud, they're going places. Can I? You know, is put, it, put but that it, on the refrigerator. It's still soft. It's still. <laughs> it's still soft. It's still soft in the middle, man. This is not the face of success. Oh, it's hot. But it kind of. I mean, because it it's, smells so good. I mean, notice how good it's been smelling. You know, you want to taste it. Taste that bread. I'll taste his face. Well, my goodness. That's better than any Play-Doh I've ever had. You don't like it? Here, eat mine. It tastes like a cookie, that an undercooked cookie. You like that. Oh yeah? Yeah, you like it. Wow, your flavor tastes a lot better than my flavor. Yeah, because I shaped it like bread. Oh, gosh. Uh, it does get bad. I got a salty part. Next up, popcorn. And you probably know that you need a stove top for Jiffy Pop, and there are approximately 8,000 kinds of microwave popcorn, some of which actually taste like popcorn. But can we pop popcorn in a toaster. Oh, you're getting, you're yeah, getting you all goggled you up? You should get ready. Okay. Now for this one. Is it, who knows how it's gonna pop? If you put the kernels into the toaster and then you try to engage the toaster. The clampers won't. The clampers won't go all the way down and so then for, therefore it won't turn on. So you actually want to turn the toaster on and then drop. Just a, just a good layering. You hear that? It's the sound of danger. Basically, you have a layer of like like one layer of kernels all along the bottom there. Oh, they're Speaking way down. Speaking of danger, there. you're doing this so no one else has to, right? That's right. We do not advise you to put anything other than Breads. bread, pop tarts, and, pop -tarts and toaster strudels, mm. an occasional cookie, uh, and. Mm. Uh, May, no, I wouldn't even. The tongues of toddlers. I don't know. No, no, no. No, Eggo waffle. At least Eggo. <laughs> Eggo. I thought you said egg rolls, and I was like, she's getting crazy already. <laughs> don't put things in toasters that shouldn't go in toasters. Let us do that on the internet. Unless it's awesome. Just mm. kidding. Don't do it. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, it's popping. It's not necessarily impressive. It smells like it's burning. Yeah, I think it is. It's not, this is not gonna be good tasting popcorn. This probably. is like when your mom doesn't read the directions on the microwave popcorn. My mom still does it for me. <laughs> <laughs> she and, flies into town, <laughs> yeah. makes you some popcorn, flies back. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, mom, you're not supposed to hit the pop, the large popcorn button for the small popcorn. Okay, all right, you wanna Just pour? Just go a little bit more and then we'll, we'll turn it over in here. They're still going. I actually have turned off the toaster. They're continuing to, to, <coughs> to go on their own. <coughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna turn this over so you can see what all the fuss was about in there. Okay. There we go, there's the good stuff. There oh. it is. Okay, now. Dig in, Link. Like this one right here, this one, see that looks pretty good, look at that. That's a pretty well. It's, it looks burnt, but no, I got a, I got a perfect one. I got a perfect kernel. Very burnt tasting. Mm. The fact that it doesn't Ugh. completely pop. Yeah, bad. If you're one of those people that likes to eat the sort of half pop kernels at the bottom of the popcorn, and you also like to taste like ow, then burntness. There's a great way for you to experience that. Just throw some popcorn into a toaster. Next up, nacho. The toaster's original purpose is culinary, primarily to turn bread into toast in a magic process I still don't fully understand. Me neither. But we think we can make better stuff than dry, scratchy toast. Enter toaster nachos. Yeah, so we got the nachos over here. We're, we're not gonna toast those. We're gonna toast the cheese. Oh, yes we are. And then after, after being patient, mm -hmm. I am hoping that we can just do a a drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Use the toaster as, as a dispenser. Yes. Yes, something I've always dreamed of. Oh my goodness, this is a bit wide Just, here. just break, the, break the end off there. And then this one right here. There we go. Just right in there. Okay. And then, set it and forget it. I don't think we can use that slogan. It's getting kind of smoky. All right, woo! I mean, yeah. okay, so I've, I've released, released the hounds and now, Welcome to the future. Nacho Daddy! Look at, that. Look at it go! Man, we could go to basketball games, like like middle school basketball games. The Nacho Boys are here! Pat yep. it like making a baby burp. They're gonna need 64 toasters. But yeah. they make the best nachos. Oh. <laughs> Dang man, you patted too hard too long. You're gonna get us fired from the middle school basketball game. The nacho boys can't be dropping the toasters into the nachos. Look at that. Them. And look, I think you can reuse that. You might be able to. Now I'm look gonna get, get an extra cheesy one. Look at that. Mm. Smells a little smoky. That's perfect. Well actually. There's quite a few chips that have no cheese on them at all. But it's the first time the Nacho Boys ever ever became the Nacho Boys. This is the beginning of a, the toaster revolution. The, the shelves are gonna be filled with toasters and then they're gonna be empty because everyone's gonna be buying the toasters. Well, and then they're it's gonna, gonna be like- No, they're gonna be buying more because of the toasters that they ruined. Exactly. So we should go into the toaster business. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, nail polish. One of the tedious things about becoming beautiful is waiting for the nail polish to dry. Uh -huh. Can a toaster help with that perhaps? Probably. And because we are a beauty company who refuses to test on animals, which includes ourselves, we'll be using my mannequin arm for this Oh experiment. my goodness, I thought <laughs> I was gonna say something. <laughs> I was gonna say something. This. Your arm looked a little pinky. Hey, 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 give me five, man. Okay, so you. what we're gonna do is, oh golly, my face, man. Okay. Okay, we're gonna repaint, uh, we got one that doesn't have any on it, and I'm gonna repaint this purple just so we have some fresh, some fresh nail polish. This is actually color changing nail polish that changes when exposed to heat. So not only will we get to see these two fingers dry. Oh yeah. But we're gonna get to see the color change on all of them. I mean, we can put it all the way up this finger, who cares? Okay, that's... Just to remember, this is the green one, because it's gonna change color. Okay, that's an interesting... Some interesting. people have a green thumb. All right. Are you ready? Other I'm, people don't. Let me heat it up for you. Well, I gotta put this in there first, and then you clamp it. Okay. There you go. Okay. I mean, if we lose a finger in the process... All right, why don't you, why don't you bring it up? Let's just, let's just check in on it. Okay, okay bringing right. it up. 
Yeah. Oh. Okay. And then look at that. And look Whoa. at that. It just completely dried. It changed color. It went from green to yellow. Yes. Now, and then that one, these two went to pink and the blue didn't, I don't remember what color that was. The ring finger got the worst of it. Uh, oh, wow, look at that. There's definitely at least a third degree burn there. <laughs> but again, hot. the price of beauty, and th sometimes you gotta put yourself in uncomfortable situations. I think we can f probably flick that off. Maybe I should use this glove that we have. Well, if you're a nail tech, oh, you've, you've squished the whole, You've just pulled the fingertip off. Yep. Entirely. Well, what do we learn, Link? We shouldn't work in nail salons. Nope. Next up, Pop Rocks. Pop Rocks are mysterious candy. No one knows what they are. People in the comments will claim, they're just carbon dioxide infused sugar, but they don't know. Nobody knows. Mm -mm. But we're about to know what happens to Pop Rocks in a dang toaster. Sure. Let's ride, Link. Boop. All right. Okay. They told us to wear these, but I guess because they could pop a rock. Yeah. Rip open four packs. Boy, We're gonna you... do four packs, and just like the popcorn kernels, you're gonna want to put these down okay. and then unload them. And uh, I'll do this side. You do the far side. You do your side. Okay. You ready? Okay. So that's down. And. We got a lot of smoke. Let's get that in there. All right, we got a little popping. Got a little rocking. And a lot of smoking. Oh, look. Look, they're going everywhere. It's look at that. Pop rock, pop inside of a toaster. Oh, getting a little hot down in there. Is that a flame? It's on fire. It's on fire. It's on fire. Okay. It's on fire. The pop rocks. Unplugged. Unplugged it. The plug it is on fire. Okay. That's well, <laughs> can't say we recommend that one either. I don't know, man. What's that noise? Oh. It sounds like somebody's solving a problem. <laughs> I think we got it. <laughs> uh, it sounds like he's making our pop rocks inedible. <laughs> oh, you wanted to, you wanted to get a taste, huh? <laughs> I was like, "Well, it's getting hot," and you were like, "Is that flames?" <laughs> we froze oh. it for you. Oh, I don't know. If is that is that cold? Super cold. Okay. Um, well, where are the where are the pop rocks, Simon? You gotta find them. Wait, wait, wait. don't touch that. It's, it's gonna be really cold if you touch it. He froze it. That's just ice. No pop rocks in there? Up, oh, there's some pop rocks. Oh, they're still popping. Once they pop, they don't Pop stop. rocks just can't stop popping. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, look at that. Oh, there we go. We got just a yeah. There you go. Okay, yeah. Get that right there. You know what? If you're gonna put pop rocks inside of a toaster, it's gonna catch on fire, and then you're gonna put it out and freeze the toaster. Always touch what comes out of it with a mannequin's hand. Look at that. That's just safety. It's like a pop rock wafer. Totally inedible, of course. What did we learn today? Pop rocks, is, they'll start a fire in a toaster. <laughs> That's pretty much my takeaway. <laughs> That's true. I think we learned that a toaster can be used for other things, but it's not necessarily recommended by the manufacturer of said toasters. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Emma. This is Hardy. Pluto. Helvetica. Venus. Neptune. Satan. Princess. This is Toaster. Starry. Vlad. And this is Elfie. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. I don't know whether to comment on the fact that she has a snake named Toaster or a snake named Satan. <laughs> but you know what? I'm glad she's being her mythical best. Click the top link to watch us crisp, soggy fries and good mythical Is more. that gonna work? Yeah. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Move at the speed of conversation with us. Subscribe to Ear Biscuits wherever you listen to podcasts.